Are you seeing the Give Energy power and energy values in Home Assistant provided by the Give TCP add-on suddenly dropping to zero? If you're using the energy data in your Home Assistant dashboard, you might be seeing the issue manifest itself as energy value being doubled compared to what you're expecting. I'm going to show you a super quick and easy workaround to resolve this problem. If you don't know what Give TCP is, it's a set of scripts which have been turned into an add-on for Home Assistant and a Docker container, which gives you direct local access to your Give Energy inverter. You should probably check out my other Give Energy videos first, and I'll stick a link to those in the description. Anyway, this video is specifically about an issue that a lot of people are experiencing when using Give TCP with Home Assistant. Have a look at this graph. This is showing the total energy going into my battery over 24 hours. You can see that the value keeps dropping to zero. If you use this sensor directly in the energy dashboard, then each time it drops to zero and jumps back up, the energy dashboard thinks that the total change from zero has happened again, so the energy usage that day is counted twice. What we need is a nice smooth graph. It's actually quite easy to achieve using template sensors, but you do need to edit your configuration files manually to achieve it. Take a look at this template sensor. It's measuring kilowatt hours and has been given a device class of energy and a state class of total increasing, which means that the value will only ever keep getting higher, as opposed to something like a power sensor or a temperature sensor, which would have a point in time value that can go up and down. The state of that sensor, or its reported value, is calculated by checking to see if the real sensor, the one we have a problem with, has a value of zero. If it does, we just use the template sensor's last known value as the current value. If the real sensor's value is not zero, then we grab that and use it as this filtered sensor's value. Just paste this template sensor into your configuration YAML file, reload your template sensors on the developer tools page, and you should see a new filtered sensor appear. Now you can use that sensor in Home Assistant's energy dashboard with no further problems. I suggest that at a minimum you create a filtered sensor for both the battery energy in and battery energy out sensors, but if you're using Give TCP to monitor solar and grid too, then you can apply the same workaround for those. Here's another little tip. I suggest that you wrap that filtered sensor in a utility meter helper that's set to a daily cycle. That way you can use the utility meter in your energy dashboard and if you ever have to change your monitoring solution or battery solution, you can just swap the source entity used by the utility meter and you won't lose all of that historical data in your energy dashboard. I'll put the config for creating all of those filtered sensors up on my website and the link to that will be in the video description as usual. If you found this useful then I'd appreciate you giving the video a like and please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching, goodbye.